I had a nice idea for a simple new terrarium concept. So let's try it out. Diving straight in, we'll start with a false bottom. After finishing that up, it's time for a layer of sand. And above the sand, a layer of cocoa peat and vermicompost. And after smoothing out the soil, it's time for planting. In this terrarium, I'm just using the usual set of plants and moss. Now it's time for some dragonstone. This rock is found on the shores of ponds and lakes in Japan. And water bashing against it constantly gives it those amazing crevices that are perfect for tucking moss in. It's also got a really nice texture. I really like it. And a little bit of bakopa and moss later, we're almost done. And now for the interesting bit, I'm moving into electricals for a second. I found these useless motion detecting cabinet lights lying around my house and nobody was using them. So I decided to destroy them. The first step was removing this plastic diffuser, cause diffuse light bad for plants. Doing that exposes these really nice LEDs. So after that, I removed the covering over the motion sensor, cause it wasn't really needed and it was not allowing the light to touch the lid directly which is gonna be useful later. So after that we're pretty much done. It's got a switch over here with two modes, always on and motion sensing, and then a USB plug back there. Which is super convenient because everyone has a USB charger lying around somewhere. So then I aligned the USB plug to the back of the terrarium and stuck it with some Febiquick. So after about a minute, it was nice and firmly stuck. And now it was time to charge it because they've been sitting uselessly for so long that they're completely out of battery. After that, I just let it charge for 20 minutes and done, it was just time to screw the lid on and turn it on. So that's about it for today. This is a really nice idea and I feel like it's super convenient and if I manage to execute it nicely, it'll look super good. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.